I'm Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you a huge Bath & Body Works lotion haul. So I've got 10 lotions. Well, I've got nine Bath & Body Works lotions and one other one that I want to share with you. Uh, and I also want to share my fragrance recommendations. So what I would pair it with. Sometimes with Bath & Body Works, their products are so fragranced that it's hard to know what to pair with because it almost smells like its own perfume. Uh, so I want to share with you the fragrances that I would pair or at least a few of them anyway. Uh, so I can't wait to do that. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to hit that button. Join the weird and wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community where all things fragrance and fabulous and beautiful and whatever happens to catch my fancy. That's what we're going to talk about. I post religiously Sunday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So if you enjoy regular con content, please hit that button and subscribe. Subscribe for those of you that are already subscribed. You guys are amazing and I'm so thankful for you. And let's get started. So rather than going through all the lotions at once and then breaking it down into fragrances, I thought I would talk about one fragrance, the fragrances that you could pair some ideas and then move on to the next one. So the first fragrance I want to talk about, I've talked about it a bit recently and it is Into the Night. Now this one has Raspberry Noir, Velvety Rose Petals, and Creamy Patchouli. So this one, it smells like raspberry, kind of mouth-watering. Definitely get the rose in there, uh, vanillic as well. So basically the, the fragrances that I think would work well with this are any sort of a ba berry fragrance or rose. So you could pair this with something like Delina if you wanted to make it a little more gourmand. Uh, you could pair it with Angel Nova. Uh, what this will do is kind of sweeten up uh, the kind of bright tartness of Angel Nova and this would make a really warm inviting uh, combo for the winter. Uh, of course there's the, in uh, there's the Fifth Avenue Royale uh, combo that was suggested to me. This would work really well. Uh, something like La Nuit Trésor would go well with this. Sophia Vergara's Love would work well with it. So anything that has kind of a rose or raspberry, you could also put something like Alexstas with it. Uh, yeah, so those are, those are some suggestions to go with Into the Night. Now the next fragrance that I got was Fireside Flurries. Uh, now this one I'd smelt before and I just thought to myself, oh, it's like Bonfire Fire Bash, but sweeter. So I just grabbed it. It's not really because it has a, a lavender note in it. So this has Toasted Marshmallow, Pink Lavender, and Cashmere Woods. So it's got a little bit a little bit of woodiness to it, but it's very vanillic and then it's got that lavender. My thought would be to pair something like Monger Lawn with it. You could pair YSL's Lieb. Uh, any of them really would work with it. I think that this would be cool with the, um, the just the reg regular, like the, the original Eau de Parfum, because what this would do is kind of vanillic it up. Uh, if you want to amp up kind of sweetness and a little bit more lavender, this would be gorgeous in the Intense and Le Parfum version as well. Fireside Fleuries would also work with something like uh, Maison Lancôme's Le Vin de Trion, because uh, of that lavender, really anything with lavender, uh, this would work really well with. I definitely like the fact that there's that toasted marshmallow in, because it gives a little bit of kind of sweetness, so I can't wait to pair it with my Mon Guerlain for sure. The next lotion that I got that I am just uh, in love with is called Strawberry Snowflakes. This is just delectable. Like it's very, very strawberry forward, but I definitely prefer this over strawberry pound cake because it's got kind of a fluffy uh, marshmallowy feel as well. The notes in this are juicy strawberry, whipped cream, and iced bergamot. To me, a fragrance like this would work good with any of the Burberry hers, like the original, the intense, um, the elixir would work well with that. It would work well with something like Cloud if you wanted to add. Cloud would work with fire, Fireside Flurries as well, but Cloud, if you pair it with strawberries, that would be really good. In fact, it would be similar to Burberry Her then. Uh, and then you could always do a strawberry with something like a Baccarat Rouge. I think it might smell good. It may smell weird. I think it would smell delicious because Baccarat Rouge has that 
uh, quality to it that's kind of delicate and sweet. So pairing anything that's kind of delicate and sweet with this would be amazing. I also think that this would be really good with any sort of an orange blossom forward fragrance. So something like a uh, Lancome Le Vie Belle Eclat or even something like an Elie Sab Le Parfum. I can see this being really nice because it would add a sweetness. In fact, I kind of want to go try that combination right now. Eee! It's exciting. But uh, yeah, definitely the Burberry Herline would go beautifully with the strawberry snowflakes. Anything that has a berry vibe or a marshmallow vibe, like seriously, this is straight up strawberries and cream. I love it. Like it makes my mouth water. So I'm so in love with this lotion. This isn't a Bath and Body Works lotion, but my friend Hesse brought it back from the States for me. And I'm really excited about it. It's the EOS Shea Butter 24 Hour Body Lotion in Vanilla Cashmere. Now this one, uh, it's very, it, it's straight up vanilla, uh, but it's just a really, a really pretty vanilla. It's not too sweet. Uh, but it would just be a really nice base. So if you want something that's just kind of straight up vanilla, not too sweet, not too overpowering, this one would be amazing. And then you could pair something, of course, like a velvet vanilla with it, uh, just to amp up that buttercream feel. So something like that would work really well together. Basically, straight up vanilla lotion is really good. What I realized is I like the vanilla lotion. What I don't like is uh, Vanilla Sugar by Bath & Body Works. I think that's what it's called. To me, it's just too sweet and cloying, but this one isn't cloying at all. Back to Bath & Body Works, uh, I have the Rose one. Now, I had smelt this one uh, in the summertime and never bought it, and then when it was $3.95, I couldn't resist. So this is Airy Rose Water, Jasmine Petals, and Creamy Musk. Now this one, um, for the most part, it's just straight up rose. So anything that you want to amp up rose in, it's going to work well with. So you could do Delina. You could do something like uh, Elie Sab's Le Parfum. You could do Quatre, Idole, any of those fragrances where you want to up the rose, you could do that. The other thing that you could do is like with something again like Angel Nova where it's really raspberry forward but there is that rose you can pair the two of these together so take your take the fruit down in a fragrance by adding rose so you could do that with something like uh florence as well which is quite gourmand very similar to roses of funny by mansara if you want to amp up the rose you could do this combination so any fragrance where rose is a bit of a supporting note but you want to kind of add it in there you could do that so it would work with something like sophia love or even the regular sophia uh or even something like a lenoui trezor where instead of uh instead of amping up the berry you want to amp up the floral uh, you could use this this lotion. This would also work with any of the kind of classier fragrances like Chanel Coco Moselle, uh, Chanel Chanceau Tendre, uh, like Boucheron, any of the watery rose combinations. It would work amazing with. So thankful to have this in my collection. The next lotion that I always have to buy, like I, I just, I kind of always have to have it, is <laughs> Twisted Peppermint. I'm a kid at heart. And this is amazing for Christmas time. Like I love using the, the body wash at Christmas cause it's peppermint. Like it's just basically crushed up uh, candy cane is what it smells like. So I just really love this. Now I was trying to think, do I have any fragrance in my collection that I would want to even pair this with? Cause I don't really want to smell like a candy cane perfume. That said, um, you could pair this with different vanillas, like if it's a straightforward vanilla. What I landed on for a fragrance is Zucchero Filato uh, because it's a cotton candy fragrance. So this is by Kais. Um, and yeah, it's just straight up cotton candy. So the the vibe of the two is just delectable. In fact, it's so mouthwatering. I think I'm going to wear it. Like something like this to me is a great combination when you're headed to bed and you've just gotten out of the shower and you just want to smell like a big like ball of candy. It, this would be a great combo. <laughs> Other than that, I don't know what you'd pair this with because, you know, for the most part, you don't get candy cane smelling fragrances. But 
Gotta have this one always. So next lotion from Bath & Body Works is a Vanilla Mocha Martini. Now I had never even seen this one before. Uh, so I was excited to smell this one. And I'm really, really loving kind of the coffee type fragrances. Anything with the coffee note, I'm really enjoying. The fragrance notes for this one is Cozy Cappuccino, Vanilla Orchid, and White Tonka Bean. So to me, this one smells exactly like that. It smells like a dessert type coffee. Definitely get that sugared uh, cappuccino vibe. So something like this would be amazing with Tio Cabanel's Cafe Cabanel, Coffee Addict. Uh, the only one would go well with this. Um, even something like Rich Warm Addictive by Zara. Uh, adding that coffee in there would be awesome. And the, uh, the other thing that's amazing about using something like this or even like a Hugo Boss The Scent Private Accord where it's kind of chocolate, chocolatey coffee goodness. Uh, the th cool thing is that these are poor performers, but if you pair it with this lotion, it's definitely gonna last longer. Uh, so you could do something like that. Another fragrance I thought it would go really well with is Ylang Ylang Espresso uh, to kind of um, amp up the sweetness and take down uh, the the floral in it, like take down the Alang Alang. So that might be a neat combo. I also thought Angel Muse would go really well with this one as well, although I think that Angel Muse is gonna overpower this one. But yeah, I really enjoy this one. It smells like a dessert coffee. So definitely uh, thinking about Coffee Addict, Cafe Cab Cabanel, uh, Acro Awake. Oh, I would love it with that. The only one, any of the ones that I've put Midnight Amber to, uh, would work well with this one as well. Next lotion, I've actually had this one for a while, uh, but I've never talked about it, and that's Bonfire Bash. Now I get a lot of questions about how similar this is to uh, By the Fireplace, and I think it's very, very close. So Bath & Body Works totally nailed this, like nailed it uh, when it comes to smelling uh, similar to by the fireplace by the fireplace by my own Margiela. So if you want to just kind of use this to complement the fragrance and kind of amp it up Because uh, that one tends to lay closer to the skin. You could absolutely do that uh, This also works really well with Tom Ford's lost cherry so if you don't want to spend the money on by the fireplace because you know, it's a certain vibe that you don't want all the time and you don't want to spend the moolah. Buying Bonfire Bash is definitely great value for money because it smells very similar. So you could pair this with Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. You could pair it with something like Rich Warm Addictive. You could pair it with Modest Du or any sort of a cherry or, uh, you know, smoky cherry type thing, Rouge Smoking, you could put with this. Uh, this would smell amazing with L'Interdit um, Rouge. Uh, recently, I actually paired L'Interdit Rouge and By the Fireplace, and it's just a killer combination. Super uber sexy. This lotion, Bonfire Bash, definitely, definitely really close to By the Fireplace. So if you don't want to spring for that, this is a great option. If you can find it, like they bring it out in the fall, uh, it was still in my store with, in large quantities, so definitely Bonfire Bash is a great one. Next lotion, again, this is one that I've had for a while, but I thought I'd mention it, and it is Orange and Ginger. This is part of the aromatherapy line, and these were all on for $3.95 as well. So this one has orange oil and ginger oil, and that's exactly what you get. You get so much ginger in this one. But what's cool about this is it smells like fresh ginger. So it's kind of mouthwatering, uh, very zingy and fresh feeling. Uh, and then with that orange, it's just really beautiful. I can see pairing something like L'Interdit Rouge with this as well, if you're wanting to amp up the ginger, you could also do this with any of the Twilly fragrances, especially the ginger one. Uh, by Hermes. It would be amazing with that. Uh, you could do uh, Jean-Paul Cotier's Essence at Classique, Essence Absolue, or any of the uh, Classique fragrances would work with it. Uh, it would work well with um, Paco Rabanne's Olympia, uh, the original it would work with. It would work with the Intense uh, I have the Aqua Legere and it would it goes amazing with that. I can see pairing this with anything that you want kind of a spicy kick to. So even something like a Noir Pour Femme 
uh, that would work well, or um, or using it with something like Lost Cherry, putting it with Hugo Boss, the scent Private Accord. This smells a little bit like a By Terry's Chocolate Orange. So by adding this, you're going to just add a little bit more orange factor to it. I think it would smell absolutely amazing. So you could al al always go in that direction. The one that I think smells amazing with it is Kais's We Plus. So this smells like a s'more. So it's got marshmallow, graham wafer, chocolate, coffee in there. And this combination is uber sexy. I love it. Uh, I love the ginger and orange mixed with this. It's just phenomenal. Last lotion I wanted to mention was Midnight Amber Glow. This one is still uh, kind of one of my favorites right now. It has um, smooth amber, car caramel latte, and vanilla bourbon. So looking at the difference between the mocha, the vanilla mocha ma martini and Midnight Amber Glow, I think the, the big difference is this is more caramel and this is more vanillic. And I would say that the, the, mar the chocolate, uh, the mocha martini definitely has more of that coffee feel than this one does. This one has a hint of that coffee, but it's more of a caramel latte coffee. So coffee is a little bit more in the background. It goes amazing with Lex Stas. You could put it with Wee Plus, the only one, uh, Hugo Boss, Rich Warm Addictive, basically anything that has a little bit of that gourmand feel. I think it would also go good with something like uh, Wanted Girl by Azaro. I think it would good, go good with Fifth Avenue Royale. It would go good with uh, Sofia Vergara's Love, even though this one has uh, more more fruitiness in it. It would just kind of amp up that decadence with that caramel. Those are the lotions that I've gotten recently. Uh, let me know if you'd want to see a whole entire lotion collection because I've definitely kind of collected quite a few over the past few years. Uh, if you want to see my entire lotion collection, leave it in the comments. And if you enjoy uh, me kind of talking about lotions and pairing them with fragrances, let me know. And other than that, what is your favorite lotion right now? Do you have a few that you're really excited about? Uh, what is your recommendation in particular for Bath and Body Works? And what fragrance do you layer it with? Leave it in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.